though uh, computers uh, continue to become better, data centers continue to become more robust, people make mistakes, systems fail. Disasters come in all shapes and forms. People drop tables by mistake, uh, you know, disks still uh, fall down. Most of the disasters are in inadvertent human mistakes. You know, all of us make mistakes where we overwrite a file which we are not supposed to uh, or an application error which then results in you know some kind of garbage going into your database. Like facing a website which has some crucial information suddenly you know some user comes in and, and spews a huge amount of spam that you that you just cannot clean one by one. I mean that's a disaster as well because your data basically became unusable even though it is still there. Or a disgruntled employee uh, removing data just before they're leaving I mean that's a disaster as well. So needs for backup and disaster recovery will never go away, regardless of whatever advances in fault-tolerant technologies uh, happen. And one of the big challenges for small and medium-sized companies is that they don't tend to have dedicated IT managers just for backup purposes, you know, let alone for storage. So they may have a, you know, a shared IT resource who is doing 10 other things, including backup. And, and the last thing they want to do is to manage some kind of a removable media like a tape drive and have somebody come and pick up those tape drives or take those somewhere else outside of the building in order for them to be able to recover their data after a disaster. So this problem is a relatively difficult problem and both from a cost and complexity perspective and most businesses will not have a backup and disaster recovery solution because of this uh, cost and complexity. wanted to create a backup and recovery solution which was significantly lower cost and complexity, complexity than anything else in the market. And we started uh, the company around a very popular open source project called Amanda and that's where the name Amanda actually came from. So we flipped A to Z and called the company Amanda. Uh, Amanda is the world's most popular open source backup software, so it's used worldwide by hundreds and thousands of administrators. But we still had one uh, missing piece of the puzzle which is still the complexity of media was there. So, so bulk of our users today for example still use tape drives or optical media uh, which is complex for several businesses. So we wanted to take that out and, and storage clouds provided us with that missing piece of the puzzle. So we married storage cloud with Amanda and created a cloud backup software. What does Amazon provide to us? So when we were thinking of pro providing an online backup service uh, to our customers, one of the big resisting point for us was do we really want to build our own infrastructure? Do we really want to create a data center with terabytes and terabytes of data and also a billing infrastructure which has the capability of billing our customers on a monthly basis? And we are talking about thousands of customers. And answers to both of those questions tended to be no because our competency is developing backup software. Our competency is not building uh, data centers or creating a billing infrastructure for a worldwide set of users. Those are the two problems that Amazon solved for us. They gave us a very reliable infrastructure that we could uh, build upon and they gave us a very uh, very robust and scalable billing infrastructure because as you know Amazon has all of our credit cards and they know how to bill our credit cards on a monthly basis on a, with all the security in mind and compliance in mind. So they took care of these two problems for us in the cloud. Amazon S3 is our first storage cloud. In, in fact, we started working with it a couple of years ago. We were the first ones to bring business level cloud backup to the market. We probably have more uh, you know, business level backup going to cloud than anybody else. Uh, we have more than 300 customers who are pushing terabytes of their data to Amazon S3 today. Then Amazon, you can now choose their uh, US standard, which is uh, Pacific Northwest or East Coast, or you can choose uh, North California, uh, or you can use uh, Europe, Ireland, or you can use uh, Asia Pacific, Singapore. So we allow you to use any of those nodes for storage of your uh, uh, backup archives. So that's your choice. Uh, no other uh, backup software gives you this kind of choice where you have three continents to choose from. So we were able to focus on the user experience, which is how do I back up my application, how do I back up my database, 
uh, what what should be my retention policy so we we could focus on our core competency and solving these problems for the customer rather than solving the problems which were solved much better by amazon